So we're fitting uh, an internal door, and here we've got our existing frame within the house. Um, I'm assuming we, we need to take some quite accurate measurements. Yeah, um, there's three points of measurements on the width, uh, top, middle and bottom, and then two on the vertical at either side from top to bottom. And is that because we've got to get a really accurate measurement to when we're ordering our door? Yeah, that allows us to get an accurate measurement of all the way around the frame. Okay, so again with the tools on this kind of job, is this kind of tools that I'd have around the house, you know, tape measure and screwdrivers and things like yeah, that? Yeah, generally the normal household tools, however, you will, will need an electric plane if the door doesn't fit properly. Right, so that's just something we can get from a local shop, local DIY type shop. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's the first thing when it arrives? What are we doing with it? Right, it's two-man lift. Uh, offer the door up to the aperture. Um, if the door doesn't fit, mark on the door with a pencil uh, exactly where it doesn't fit. Uh, take the door out. Either put it in a door stand, or if you haven't got a door stand, a sturdy workbench, and plane off the excess right. to the pencil lines. One thing to remember uh, to check your working instructions to find out how much you are allowed to take off each door. So now we've kind of we've got the door to the shape and, um, and the size of the aperture that we want. Where do we take it next? Um, take it back into the aperture. Uh, mark off your hinges. Take your door back out. Uh, either put it in your stand or workbench again, uh, and then mark round your hinges, making sure the shoulders are in line with the edge of the door. Uh, and then chop chop your hinges out again, taking taking care only taking a little bit out at a time. Right, and I notice on this one we've got like round. Uh, hinges so do you have to use like um, I'd different... use a smaller chisel on the round right. uh, and then a bigger chisel on the straight but generally speaking you'd use a, just a standard the same size chisel for a normal square yes yeah type. yeah okay so now we've we've cut out for the hinges do we put the hinges into the door now yeah um, get, put the, screw the hinges on the door uh, and then offer the door back up to offer the hinges back up to the frame why are we putting the door back in the frame uh, to get an accurate measurement of where the latch is going to be. I see, right, so that'll give you exactly where it's going to be. So once you've, you've marked that up on the door... Right, then take the door back out, either place it on your stand or your workbench. Right. Draw around the faceplate, so you know exactly where the latch is going to be. Right, okay. One of the things I've always struggled with is now we know where it's going, it's drilling. Is there anything you could advise you could tell me? How do I drill to the right depth? Measure the depth of the latch, yeah. and then put a piece of tape on your drill bit. Ah, oh, right, so that then allows you to get to the right depth? Yes. Ah, yeah. oh, right, okay. I'm assuming then we've got to chisel out for the latch in yeah, the door. Yeah, again, taking time uh, and only chiseling a little bit out and keep checking with your latch. Yeah, because you don't want to overdo it, do you? No. Brilliant, no. so take it steady, but then when you've got your latch in, we're ready to bring it back in? Not yet, oh. because you've got to chop through for your spindles. Oh, of course, and that's for the handles? Yes, yeah. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? Well, you take your latch back out and you measure down from your latch, the face of your latch to the centre of the spindle hole. Right. Put a mark on the door and drill through where you've marked. Right, and again, do you, do you have to go through all through one side or? I would, I would drill through one side then mark the other side and then drill through the other. And why, are you, why would you do that? Because sometimes people have a tendency to drill off angle, so... Ah, I see, I think I've done this myself. So you end up kind of dipping or going up. Yes, yeah. So that's a, oh, that's a good tip, so you can go from both sides. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. So then when you've done that, I'm assuming that's just straightforward, put the spindle through. Put your handles on each side, pile it for your screw holes, um, and then screw it on place. So now we've got our latch in place, we've got our handle in place. Yep. Bring it back into the frame. Bring it back into the frame, screw the door, screw the hinges to the frame. Yep. Once the door is fully fitted, you must remember to seal all surfaces of the door. Job done. Fantastic. Mm -hmm.